As you might have noticed, Volvo has just released a completely new model of their trucks in both America and Europe. The new, updated Volvo FH16 in Europe and the Volvo VNL in America. But why is there such a big difference in the engine that can be chosen in the two regions? The American Volvo VNL can be selected with Volvo's D13 engine with max 500 horsepower, and the European Volvo FH16 can be selected with the new 780 horsepower engine. But why not provide the same engine in both areas? Well, there are four main reasons, but before looking into that, let's compare the two engines and see how different they really are. Both engines are inline-six engines. However, as the name implies, the D13 engine has a displacement of 13 liters, and the D17, 17 liters. The D17 boasts significantly higher horsepower and torque compared to the D13. This translates to greater hauling capacity and better performance on steep inclines or with heavy loads. The max output of the D13 is 500 horsepower and 2,575 newton meters, whereas the D17 can produce a massive 780 horsepower and 3,800 newton meters, making it the most powerful engine in Europe beating the legendary Scania V8 with 770 horsepower. The D13 is more fuel efficient due to its smaller size and focus on fuel economy, making it ideal for regional hauling and applications where fuel efficiency is paramount. The D17 caters to heavy haulage and tasks requiring maximum power. So as you can see, the D17 is a lot more powerful. But having said that, the majority of trucks sold in Europe are with the D13 engine, even though it is possible with a bigger engine. This D17 is more expensive, both to purchase and maintain, and is not as fuel efficient as the D13. But why is it then available and why only in Europe? Let's look at the first reason. European trucking often demands higher horsepower engines due to the diverse terrain, including mountainous regions, long distances, and heavy loads. European truckers may prioritize power and torque to ensure efficient hauling across various road conditions. On the other hand, in North America, while power is still important, there may be more emphasis on fuel efficiency and emissions compliance, especially for long-haul operations where efficiency over fast distances is crucial. But it's also about the rules that apply, because there is a big difference in the permitted total weight in the two places. One big reason why we don't see truck engines with more than 600 horsepower in the US is because of the weight rules. The federal limit for the weight of semi-trucks in the US is 80,000 pounds, that's 36,000 kilograms, which a 500 horsepower engine is more than capable of pulling through American roads. On the other hand, in Europe, where there are 27 different countries, each with its own rules, it's a different story. Trucks there often need more powerful engines to handle different kinds of roads and carry heavier loads. Here, the weight limit in most places is 44,000 kilograms. However, many Nordic countries have weight limits exceeding 80, 90, and some even over 100,000 kilograms. Here, the 500 horsepower engine simply isn't enough, why the bigger engines are used, which leads us to the next reason. Europe and America have different regulatory standards governing vehicle emissions, safety, and performance. European emission standards, while stringent, may allow for more flexibility in engine designs and power outputs compared to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency EPA regulations, which tend to be more stringent in certain aspects. This regulatory variation can influence the engine options available in each region, which European regulations potentially allowing for higher horsepower engines while still meeting emissions targets. Let's take a look at the rules that apply to each place. In most of Europe, the European Union EU, sets emission standards for vehicles sold within its member states. These standards regulate the amount of pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides NOx, particulate matter PM, carbon monoxide CO, and hydrocarbons HC, emitted by vehicles. European emission standards, commonly referred to as Euro standards, have become increasingly stringent over the years to reduce the environmental impact of road transportation. While European emission standards are stringent, they often allow for more flexibility in engine designs and power outputs compared to their North American counterparts. This flexibility enables manufacturers to develop engines with higher horsepower ratings while still meeting emissions targets. 
European regulations focus on the overall environmental impact of vehicles, including their emissions levels and fuel efficiency, rather than imposing strict limits on specific engine parameters. Now, let's look at North America. In the United States, vehicle emission standards are regulated by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency (EPA). The EPA sets emission standards for various classes of vehicles, including heavy-duty trucks, to reduce air pollution and protect public health. These standards specify the maximum allowable emissions levels for pollutants such as NOx, PM, CO, and HC. EPA regulations tend to be more stringent in certain aspects compared to European emission standards. For example, North American emission standards often impose strict limits on specified pollutants and require advanced emission control technologies, such as selective catalytic reduction SCR, and diesel particulate filters DPF, to meet mandated targets. The regulatory variation between Europe and North America can significantly influence the engine options available in each region. In North America, where emission standards are stringent and strictly enforced, manufacturers may need to prioritize emissions compliance over engine power and performance. As a result, truck models offered in the North American market may feature engines with lower horsepower ratings compared to their European counterparts. In summary, the difference in regulatory standards between Europe and North America play a significant role in shaping the engine options available in each region. While European regulations may allow for more flexibility in engine design and power output, North American emission standards often require manufacturers to prioritize emissions compliance when developing new truck models. The next reasons why Volvo is available with a 780 horsepower engine in Europe is due to operational requirements. The operational requirements of trucks differ between Europe and North America, but how? Let's look at it. European roads are known for their diverse and often challenging terrain. Many roads in Europe, especially in countries with mountainous regions such as Switzerland, Austria, and Norway, feature narrow lanes, tight turns, and steep gradients. Additionally, urban areas in Europe often have narrow streets and restricted access, requiring trucks to maneuver through tight spaces. European landscapes vary widely, ranging from mountainous regions to plains and coastal areas. Trucks operating in mountainous regions encounter steep inclines and descents, requiring powerful engines to maintain speed and control while hauling heavy loads. In addition, European cities are often characterized by historic architecture and narrow streets, making maneuverability a key consideration for trucks navigating urban areas. Trucks may need to negotiate tight corners, low bridges, and pedestrian zones while making deliveries or pickups, necessitating agile and responsible vehicles. Let's compare to North America. In contrast to Europe, North America boasts expansive highway networks that traverse vast distances across the continent. Highways in North America, particularly in regions like the United States and Canada, are typically wide, well-maintained, and designed for long-distance travel. Trucks operating in North America primarily travel on highways, where maintaining consistent speed and fuel efficiency are crucial. North American highways often feature straighter routes with fewer sharp turns and elevation changes compared to European roads. This allows trucks to maintain steady speeds and minimize the need for frequent acceleration and deceleration. As a result, trucks in North America may prioritize fuel efficiency and aerodynamics over sheer horsepower. North America's vast size and interconnected economies rely heavily on interstate commerce facilitated by trucks. Long-haul trucking plays a vital role in transporting goods between states and provinces, as well as between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Trucks traveling long distances across North America require efficient engines capable of delivering power and performance while maximizing fuel economy. And now, the last reason, which is brand strategy. Truck manufacturers like Volvo adapt their product offerings to meet the specific needs and preferences of customers in each region. Volvo may choose to offer higher horsepower engines in Europe to remain competitive and meet the demands of European trucking markets, while optimizing engine options for North America to align with market requirements and regulatory constraints. In Europe, Volvo recognizes the strong preference for higher horsepower engines among truck drivers, particularly in regions with challenging terrain and long-distance haulage requirements. To remain competitive and meet the demands of European trucking markets, Volvo may prioritize offering a range of engine options with varying horsepower ratings to cater to different customer needs. 
This strategy allows Volvo to appeal to a broad spectrum of customers while maintaining its market leadership position in Europe. In North America, Volvo adapts its product offerings to align with market requirements and regulatory constraints. Given the emphasis on fuel efficiency and emissions compliance in the North American trucking industry, Volvo may optimize its engine options to prioritize meeting stringent EPA regulations while delivering competitive performance and reliability. This could involve incorporating advanced emission control technologies, optimizing engine calibration, and enhancing aerodynamics to improve fuel economy without sacrificing power or torque. The vast differences in engine options between Volvo trucks in Europe and North America are not merely a matter of horsepower, but a reflection of the intricate interplay between regional preferences, regulatory standards, operational demands, and strategic considerations. By tailoring engine options to regional requirements, Volvo continues to lead the way in providing efficient, reliable, and sustainable solutions for the global trucking industry. You might also have wondered why Scania and Volvo keep battling to have the strongest engine. Then, this next video is just for you. See you next week.